Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation course on Enhanced Environments. This training module contains exercises using advanced techniques within a common ProjectWise environment. Using these techniques can increase the efficiency and uniformity of document creation and attribution, and reduce data entry by exchanging attribute data with ProjectWise integrated applications. During this course, you will learn how to create an attribute lookup table, how to organize and populate the data, how best to maintain the data using Excel import tool. As shown in the video clip, lookup tables are attributed documents organized in a project-wise folders containing standardized values to be entered in document attributes. During this section of the course, you'll learn how to create a dynamic attribute using SQL statements, how to create a dynamic attribute using SQL stored procedures, how to set the triggered attributes. As demonstrated in the clip, the document creation wizard uses dynamic attributes to populate the section options for each attribute, and triggered attributes are used to limit the selection set based on the previously selected values. ProjectWise administrators can use dynamic and triggered attributes to ensure the correct data is collected using the lookup table data. Dynamic attributes are attributes with value lists driven by lookup tables or previously entered values. And triggered attributes are the attributes containing the value that influences the dynamic attribute value list content. During this section of the course, you'll learn how to create a document code and an environment, how to create allow, forbidden, and reserve code restrictions. The creation of an environment document code, a combination of attribute fields with separator characters, provides a way to uniquely identify documents within an environment. Project-wise administrators will learn how to create and restrict the use of specific document code combinations for groups of documents. The video clip demonstrates a user entering the document code in a document creation wizard. The next video clip shows an example of a document code restriction that was created. This forbidden restriction prevents serial numbers 1000 through 2000 from being used with a specific combination of document code parts. This allows the ProjectWise administrator the ability to reserve specific serial numbers for specific document codes. This video clip shows the behavior the wizard presents to the user when a code violation occurs. During the last section of the course, you'll learn how to enable attribute exchange tables and set the behavior actions, how to build attribute exchange or title block tables for the following integrated applications, Microsoft Office products, MicroStation, and AutoCAD. In this video clip, the user has opened an Excel file, but has decided to change the document name in ProjectWise. Without attribute exchange, the user would have to manually edit every location in the document the document name was referenced. With attribute exchange enabled, the user can automatically update all project-wise attribute links. The attribute exchange feature links text fields in supported application documents with attributed values stored in project-wise. The exchange works bidirectional, meaning the attribute data stored in ProjectWise can populate the document text values, or the attribute data stored in ProjectWise can be updated from the open document. As mentioned before, this course will be divided into these short instructional videos covering each topic. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.